So this one process has saved me hundreds of hours of time and no one else is talking about it. All right, so the process that I have used and I continue to use that no one else is talking about that has saved me hundreds of hours is to test the frequency of your processes. So you wanna think of your processes or every single process you have as has this U-curve, right? And at the top of that U-curve is going to be the, uh, the optimal time to do that process, right? And on the left and the right are when you're doing it too much or when you're doing it too little. You want to figure out when is the optimal frequency for doing that process. So for example, if you are responsible for running a certain report on a daily basis in order to make sure you don't catch some error, you, you've you probably been trained on to do that every single day, right? Because that's how you were trained. That's how the person before you did it. That's just how it's always been done. But depending on the risk level, if it's not super, super risky, you may want to test that frequency. Can you do it every other day? Can you do it every third day? Can you do it once every four days? Can you do it once a week? You want to figure out what the best frequency is for that because if you are just automatically assuming that you need to do it every single day, you but you actually don't, you might be missing out on a lot of productivity. Right, there's been so many processes that I've been trained on where I have been told that you have to do this every single day for you know X, Y, and Z reason. But when you actually start testing it, you start realizing that the risk is so low for you know something to go wrong uh, if you do it like every other day or every third day that that small percentage um, that you would miss out on. Uh, by skipping a day or two days is not worth doing it that consistently. And uh, and so I have gained a lot of productivity by finding ways to decrease the frequency of some of the things that I do. Now, of course, use this with caution. If your responsibility is something that's really critical and really important, then obviously it's going to be worth that level of frequency. But I'm willing to bet there's probably quite a few things that you're doing that you are doing it too frequently of and there's always the possibility that you're doing something maybe not frequent enough. So you always wanna keep that U-curve in mind. There's always a too much or too little of doing a certain process, and you want to test frequently that process's frequency in order to figure out the perfect frequency for that process. And it might vary from time to time, but it's good to continue to test it in order to make sure that you're not doing too much or too little of a certain process in order to maximize your productivity at work. Thank you for watching this video. This channel is all about how to increase the amount of money you make at work by decreasing the amount of time you spend at work. And we do that by being value focused instead of time focused. So if that's something you're interested in, hit the subscribe button. I post two videos every single week. And if you have any comments or questions about this video that you just watched right here, go ahead and comment down below and I'll be happy to answer it for you. And uh, until then, I'll see you in my next video. Oh, 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 oh,